Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. Join us on an exciting journey as we unveil the transformations of 30 sexiest Playboy models who are unrecognizable today. They were once the most alluring screen beauties, and now let's see how time has shaped them. Watch until the end of the video and let us know your favorite. Before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to always stay updated on the glamorous lives of celebrities. Let's get started. Number 30. Lillian Muller was born on August 19, 1951, in Oslo, Norway. She began her modeling career at the age of 19 and quickly became an internationally renowned supermodel. Lillian gained widespread recognition after being crowned Miss Sport in 1974. She also graced the covers of prestigious fashion magazines such as Vogue, Elle, and Cosmopolitan. In 1978, Lillian made it to the top 10 of Playboy magazine's 100 Sexiest Women list. She appeared on the cover of Playboy in December 1978, showcasing her seductive and alluring beauty. Through her Playboy modeling, Lillian was celebrated for both her beauty and her stunning figure, playing a crucial role in promoting the open-minded beauty standards of the era. Besides her modeling career, Lillian Muller also ventured into acting, appearing in films like The Concord, Airport, 79, and Evils of the Night. She also made appearances on television and ventured into music production. Number 29. Barbara Eden is best known for her role as Jeannie in the popular sitcom I Dream of Jeannie, which aired from 1965 to 1970. Her portrayal of Jeannie made her an iconic sex symbol of the 1960s. Barbara graced the cover of Playboy for the first time in March 1978. At the age of 47, she still captivated many with her beauty and graceful figure. Barbara made a return to Playboy's cover in December 1981. In her mesmerizing photos, she exuded sophistication and sensuality. Publicly acclaimed for her beauty and well-proportioned physique, Barbara's image conveyed positive messages about the beauty of mature women. Apart from acting, Barbara Eden actively participated in charitable endeavors, supporting women's rights and child protection. In 2011, she published her memoir, offering insights into her life and career. Number 28. Michelle Pfeiffer was born on April 29, 1958, in Santa Ana, California, and is a renowned film actress. Her acting career soared in the 1980s with roles in films such as Scarface, 1983, and The Witches of Eastwick, 1987. She received an Oscar nomination for Best Actress for her role in Dangerous Liaisons, 1988. Michelle graced the cover of Playboy in January 1990 at the age of 31, showcasing her alluring beauty and voluptuous figure. Michelle received praise for her attractiveness and daring style. With her image as an independent and open-minded woman, Michelle contributed to breaking traditional gender norms. She inspired women to face society boldly and assert themselves. In addition to her acting career, Michelle Pfeiffer actively engaged in charitable activities, particularly in environmental and women's and children's rights. She is also an influential producer and co-founder of the film production company, Via Rosa Productions. Number 27. Barbie Benton was born on January 28, 1950, in New York, and is best known for her role as Hugh Hefner's girlfriend and a Playboy model. Her acting career began in 1969 with a role in the romantic comedy film, The Main Event, alongside actor Ryan O'Neill. Barbie appeared on the cover of Playboy four times, first in 1970. With her seductive and appealing appearance, she quickly became one of the magazine's most beloved models in the 1970s. As a playmate, Barbie played a significant role in promoting the sensual image of women. She also participated in various Playboy advertising campaigns and events. 
Barbie's beauty was highly appreciated as an ideal model of women of that era. Besides her acting and modeling career, Barbie pursued a passion for singing, releasing several pop albums and appearing on music TV shows in the 1970s. Number 26. Blaze Starr was a famous burlesque dancer in the 1950s. Her career began in the early 1950s in burlesque clubs, quickly rising to stardom with her alluring beauty and captivating dance. There is also information suggesting her fame was heightened due to her close relationship with Earl Long, the governor of Louisiana. Their story was adapted into the 1989 film, Blaze, with Paul Newman in the lead role. In 1974, Blaze appeared on the cover of Playboy, showcasing her alluring figure at the age of 42. Apart from her burlesque career, Blaze Starr also acted in films, appeared on television, and wrote her memoir. She is considered a prominent symbol of women's empowerment in the 1950s. Number 25. Dolly Parton is renowned as a country music icon with hits like, Jolene, and, I Will Always Love You. Dolly is not only famous for her music career but also as a talented actress, appearing in numerous films and TV shows. She has received several prestigious awards, including an Oscar for the song, I Will Always Love You, from the film, The Bodyguard. In 1978, at the age of 32, Dolly graced the cover of Playboy, in the photo shoot, she wore Hugh Hefner's iconic outfit, paired with a large butterfly bow on her chest, showcasing her alluring charm. With an image of an independent and self-assured woman, Dolly conveyed her strong stance on gender equality. She became a powerful inspiration for women worldwide. Beyond her artistic career, Dolly Parton is also well known for her charitable activities, particularly her Imagination Library program to promote reading for children. She is respected globally not only for her talent but also for her compassionate and likable personality. Number 24. Cheryl Teagues is a famous supermodel and entrepreneur. Her modeling career reached its peak in the 1970s, known for the all-American look, and appearing on numerous top fashion magazines. In 1978, Cheryl made it to the top 100 sexiest women in Playboy. She graced the cover in February 1979 at the age of 31, possessing radiant beauty and a perfect figure. With an image of an independent and confident woman, Cheryl was seen as an icon of the women's liberation movement of that era. She strongly inspired women everywhere, in addition to her modeling career, Cheryl also succeeded as a businesswoman in the fashion and beauty industry. She actively participated in charitable activities and environmental advocacy. Number 23. Tempest Storm, born Annie Blanche Banks on February 29, 1928, in Eastman, Georgia, is considered one of the icons of the burlesque and entertainment world of the 1950s and 1960s. Starting her career in 1951, Tempest Storm quickly became a top burlesque star with her all alluring appearance and mesmerizing performances. In 1957, she appeared on the first cover of Playboy magazine. Her image in lace lingerie and high heels became an iconic sex symbol of the era. Besides her stage career, Tempest also acted in films, appeared on television, and wrote a memoir about her life. She is regarded as a prominent symbol of women's empowerment during that time. Number 22. Katerina Witt was born on December 3, 1965, in Stacken, and is a renowned figure skater from Germany. Her competitive career flourished in the 1980s, 
winning consecutive Olympic gold medals in ladies figure skating in 1984 and 1988. Dubbed the Ice Queen, Katerina became an East German sports icon. In 1998, at the age of 32, Katerina appeared on the cover of Playboy. In the photos, she showcased her alluring beauty and well-balanced physique after years of rigorous training. With a powerful and confident image in midlife, Katerina conveyed a message about the holistic beauty of women. She became an inspiration for many women worldwide. Besides her athletic achievements, Katerina regularly participated in charitable activities and worked with social organizations. Her career and influence made Katerina Witt one of the globally beloved and admired figures. Number 21. Carol Baker is a beloved actress with a career that peaked in the 1950s and 1960s, starring in films like Baby Doll and Giant. She received an Oscar nomination for her role in The Carpetbaggers. In 1983, Carol appeared on the cover of Playboy, showcasing her alluring and stylish beauty as a cinema legend. At the age of 92, she conveyed a powerful message about beauty and timeless allure unbounded by age. Carol is an inspiration for many, not just for her acting career but also for her writing and charitable activities. She is considered an artistic icon and a living legend of cinema. Number 20. Lena Horne is known for her enchanting voice and being one of the prominent young artists during the Harlem Renaissance and Civil Rights Movement. She began her entertainment career in the 1930s as a singer and dancer at major nightclubs. Lena also ventured into acting, starring in films and performing on Broadway. Besides her musical career, Lena Horne excelled as an actress, participating in numerous films and television programs. She paved the way for social change, being one of the first African-American women to have leading roles in Hollywood films. In 1980, at the age of 63, Lena graced the cover of Playboy magazine. With elegance, allure, and confident charisma, she became the first African-American woman on Playboy's cover. Lena's image shattered stereotypes about race and age. She became an icon of female empowerment and a source of inspiration for the African-American community. Lena Horne's career and influence have left a profound mark on the history of music and culture. Number 19. Diana Dors started her acting career in 1947 and was known as the Marilyn Monroe of England. She appeared in over 30 films and television shows. In 1983, at the age of 52, Diana graced the cover of Playboy magazine. With captivating beauty and style, she astonished the public with her age-defying attractiveness. With the image of a confident and liberated woman, Diana shattered stereotypes about age and beauty. She conveyed a powerful message that women of all ages are beautiful. In addition to acting, Diana also dabbled in singing and memoir writing. She left a deep impression on the public as an admired sex symbol. She continued to be active in the entertainment industry until the end of her life, leaving her mark in British cinema and musical culture. Number 18. Anna Nicole Smith began her modeling career in 1992 and quickly rose to fame after becoming a Playboy Playmate. In the same year, she appeared on the cover of Playboy and was voted into the top 100 sexiest women. With a voluptuous figure, ample bust, and seductive beauty, Anna Nicole was dubbed the modern-day Marilyn Monroe. In addition to modeling, Anna Nicole also appeared in films such as Naked Gun 33 and a Third. The Final Insult, and Skyscraper. 
Her personal life, especially her marriage to wealthy tycoon J. Howard Marshall II, garnered significant attention. Anna Nicole Smith passed away at the age of 39 due to health issues, sparking controversy and discussions about her life. She is remembered as a sensual woman with a lasting impact on the entertainment world. Number 17. Linda Carter is best known for her role as Wonder Woman in the TV series from 1975 to 1979. Besides her iconic role in Wonder Woman, Linda appeared in various films and television shows. She is also a talented singer who released several music albums. Linda graced the cover of Playboy in 1978 at the age of 27, at the peak of her career. In the photos, Linda showcased her alluring and seductive beauty, expressing feminine allure and a hot physique. Linda Carter was recognized not only for her outstanding beauty but also for her intelligence and diverse artistic career. At the age of 72, she continues to thrive in the entertainment industry, maintaining her influential status. Number 16. Kathy Ireland started her modeling career at the age of 17. In 1980, she appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue, catapulting her to fame and leading to collaborations with major fashion brands. In 1993, Kathy appeared on the cover of Playboy and was voted into the top 100 sexiest women of the magazine. In the photos, Kathy flaunted her sensual and enticing beauty. With a stunning appearance, a seductive figure, and a clever face, Kathy Ireland was considered one of the world's top supermodels in the 80s and 90s. She also ventured into acting, appearing in films such as Necessary Roughness, Alien from LA, and Mom and Dad Save the World. Besides her modeling and acting career, Kathy is a successful entrepreneur. She founded Kathy Ireland Worldwide, a company generating billions of dollars in revenue each year, offering products ranging from furniture to children's toys. Number 15. Terry Moore, born on January 7, 1929, in Los Angeles, California, began her acting career at the age of 15 in the 1944 film, Since You Went Away. Her breakthrough role came in the 1949 film, Mighty Joe Young. In 1953, Terry Moore appeared on the cover of Playboy and was voted into the top 100 sexiest women. At that time, she had become a renowned film star with captivating beauty and a sensual body. The Playboy cover helped her attract more public attention. Terry Moore was highly praised for her beauty with round, large eyes, fair skin, and an alluring figure. She was esteemed for her captivating appearance and sensuous beauty that few contemporaries could match. This is why she became a sex symbol of that era. In addition to acting, Terry Moore engaged in charitable activities, supporting people with disabilities and orphan children. She received a humanitarian award in 1956 for her contributions. Number 14. Stephanie Seymour was a famous supermodel in the 1980s and 1990s. She gained recognition through appearances on the cover of Playboy magazine. Stephanie Seymour was born on July 23, 1968, in San Diego, California. She began her modeling career at the age of 14 and quickly rose to the ranks of the world's top supermodels in the 1980s. In 1991, at the peak of her career, Stephanie appeared on the cover of Playboy and was voted into the top 100 sexiest women. She stunned readers with her sizzling figure and seductive beauty. With a beautiful appearance and a fiery physique, 
Stephanie was honored as a supermodel of the 1990s. In addition to her modeling career, Stephanie Seymour also played roles in films and television shows. She is known for her role as Marcy Hansen in the 2000 film, Pollock. Stephanie Seymour's personal life has also been closely followed, including her marriages to fashion designer Tommy Hilfiger and billionaire Peter Brandt. She continues to maintain her position in the fashion industry and is an icon of allure and style. Number 13. Demi Moore is known for her iconic roles and appearances on the cover of Playboy magazine. She began her acting career in 1981 with a role in the film, Choices. However, her breakthrough role came in the 1990 film, Ghost, alongside Patrick Swayze. In the 1980s, at the age of 18, Demi Moore appeared on the cover of Wii magazine. In 1991, she continued to grace the cover of Playboy and was voted into the top 100 sexiest women. With seductive beauty, a vibrant youthful body, and confidence, Demi Moore became a sex symbol of the 1990s. She was also dubbed the Queen of Nudity in Hollywood. In addition to acting, Demi Moore participated in charitable activities, campaigning against gun violence, and supporting causes related to drug addiction and HIV. Number 12. Suzanne Somers began her acting career in the 1960s with small roles in television shows. In 1977, she gained fame for her role as Chrissy Snow in the sitcom, Three's Company. In 1980, at the age of 34, Suzanne Somers appeared on the cover of Playboy magazine. Her sensual image attracted significant public attention. With enchanting beauty, Suzanne Somers quickly became a sex symbol in the entertainment industry of the 1970s and 1980s. She also engaged in charitable activities, supporting breast cancer and Alzheimer's disease awareness. In addition to her acting career, Suzanne Somers is renowned for writing books on health and beauty. She is also involved in business, especially in the field of supplements and healthcare products. Audiences appreciate Summers not only for her acting talent but also for her outstanding beauty and positive influence in the health and beauty industry. Number 11. Dorothy Stratton was born on February 28, 1960, in Vancouver, Canada. She started her modeling career at the age of 18 and quickly became a Playboy Playmate in 1979. In the same year, Dorothy appeared on the cover of Playboy and was voted into the top 100 sexiest women. With a beautiful appearance, a fiery figure, and a radiant smile, she became an iconic sex symbol of the Playboy empire at that time. In addition to modeling, Dorothy also appeared in several films such as, Americathon, and Autumn Born. However, Dorothy Stratton's promising career came to a tragic end when she was murdered in August 1980 at the age of 20 by her estranged husband. To this day, Dorothy is remembered as one of the most memorable playmates in Playboy's history. Number 10. Julie Newmar was born on August 16, 1933, in Los Angeles, California. She rose to fame for her role as Catwoman in the 1960s television series, Batman. This iconic role established her as a legendary figure in the history of superhero entertainment. In addition to her portrayal of Catwoman, Julie Newmar had various roles in both film and television, including Seven Brides for Seven Brothers and My Living Doll. She received numerous nominations and awards for her acting career. In 1965, Julie appeared on the cover of Playboy magazine, garnering public attention with her alluring image. Standing at 5 feet 8 inches with blonde hair, Julie Newmar became a captivating symbol of sensuality in Hollywood's golden era. Beyond her artistic career, Julie was a successful entrepreneur and actively participated in numerous charitable projects. 
She was admired not only for her artistic talent but also for her intelligence and philanthropic endeavors. Number 9. Paulina Poroskova was born on April 9, 1965, in Czechoslovakia, now the Czech Republic. She entered the modeling industry in 1984 and quickly ascended to become one of the world's top supermodels. At the age of 22 in 1987, Paulina graced the cover of Playboy magazine. With her perfect beauty and irresistible physique, Paulina became a sex symbol and an epitome of 1980s beauty. In addition to her modeling career, Paulina Porozkova ventured into acting, appearing in films like Her Alibi, 1989, and Arizona Dream, 1993. She also explored guest roles on various television programs. Apart from her artistic endeavors, Paulina authored notable works like A Model Summer and The Adventures of Ralphie the Roach. She was admired for her sincerity, wit, and passion in both artistic and cultural domains. Number 8. Diana Rigg was born on July 20, 1938, in Doncaster, England. She began her acting career in the 1950s and gained fame for her role as Emma Peel in the 1960s television series, The Avengers. This role made her an icon of swinging London, earning her numerous nominations and awards. In 1969, Diana appeared on the cover of Playboy and was voted among the top 100 most alluring women. At the age of 31, she was at the peak of her career. Diana's elegant and enchanting beauty, along with her perfect figure, made a significant impact on the magazine. Beyond her artistic pursuits, Diana Rigg actively engaged in charitable activities and made significant contributions to arts education. She was revered as an icon in both the artistic and cultural realms. Number 7. Jacqueline Bissett is a renowned English actress who gained prominence in Hollywood during the 1960s and 1970s. Born on September 13, 1944, in Weybridge, Surrey, England, she started her acting career in 1965 and quickly became a film star with roles in movies like Bullet and The Detective. In 1977, Jacqueline graced the cover of Playboy at the age of 33. Her seductive images attracted public attention. With her fiery allure and captivating gaze, Jacqueline Bissett became a sex symbol of Hollywood's golden era. Besides her artistic career, Bissett frequently participated in charitable projects and social activities. She was highly regarded not only for her artistic talent but also for her humanitarianism and compassion. Number 6. Ava Gardner began her acting career in 1941 and swiftly became one of Hollywood's leading actresses with roles in films like The Killers, Showboat, and Magambo. In 1964, at the age of 42, Ava Gardner appeared on the cover of Playboy. Despite entering middle age, she exuded sensual allure. With her sophisticated and enticing appearance, Ava Gardner was considered the ultimate sex symbol of Hollywood's golden era. Her personal life, including romantic relationships with notable stars like Frank Sinatra and Mickey Rooney, made her the subject of numerous books and articles. Beyond her artistic career, Ava Gardner was known for her rebellious lifestyle and strong, independent personality. She remained a significant influence in the entertainment and cultural world. Number 5. Lonnie Anderson began her acting career in 1961 with minor roles. By 1978, she gained widespread recognition for her role as Jennifer Marlowe in the television series, Wuckerp in Cincinnati. This role earned her numerous nominations and awards, establishing her as an icon of the television era. 
Lonnie Anderson also worked as a model and posed for Playboy magazine. She appeared on the cover in October 1980, showcasing her alluring and sensual beauty. Apart from her artistic career, Lonnie Anderson actively participated in various charitable projects and social activities. She continued to be a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, remembered for her grace and diverse career. Number 4. Vanna White is an American model and television host, best known for her role as the letter-turner on the game show, Wheel of Fortune. She started her career in 1980 and quickly rose to fame. In 1987, at the age of 30, Vanna White appeared on the cover of Playboy and was voted among the top 100 most alluring women. Her alluring images captured the audience's attention. Beyond her television work, she regularly participated in charitable activities and philanthropy. Vanna White maintained a long-lasting career and remained one of the most popular and beloved TV personalities. Number 3. Joan Crawford was a renowned Hollywood film actress during its golden age. In addition to her successful acting career, she was also known for her appearance on the cover of Playboy magazine. Born on March 23, 1904, in San Antonio, Texas, Crawford started her acting career in the 1920s and quickly became one of MGM's biggest stars with films like Our Dancing Daughters and Mildred Pierce. In 1978, at the age of 73, Joan Crawford appeared on the cover of Playboy, featuring a vintage photo from 1937 that still captivated the public's attention. She was voted as one of the most mysterious women of all time, with her captivating and glamorous beauty, Joan Crawford was the ultimate sensual icon of Hollywood's golden era. To this day, she is remembered and honored in the film industry. Number 2. Jean Tierney was born on November 19, 1920, in Brooklyn, New York. She began her acting career in 1940 and quickly became a film star with roles in movies like The Return of Frank James, Leave Her to Heaven, and The Ghost and Mrs. Muir. In 1953, at the age of 33, Jean Tierney appeared on the cover of Playboy. Her alluring photo garnered significant public attention. With her graceful and enchanting appearance, Jean Tierney became a sensual icon of Hollywood's golden age. In addition to her acting career, she contributed to social and charitable causes. Tierney faced numerous challenges in her personal life, including mental health struggles. However, she is remembered as an icon of classic Hollywood beauty and sophistication, Number 1. Linda Evans is best known for her role as Crystal Carrington in the popular television series, Dynasty, which aired from 1981 to 1989. This role earned Linda a Golden Globe Award. In 1980, at the age of 38, Linda appeared on the cover of Playboy. In the photo shoot, she showcased her mature beauty with smooth white skin, shining blonde hair, and azure blue eyes. With a portrayal of a mature, confident, and open woman, Linda conveyed a powerful message that beauty is not bound by age. She became an admired role model for many women. In addition to her acting career, Linda Evans is an author and entrepreneur. She frequently engages in charitable activities and works for social organizations. Linda has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, maintaining her reputation not only through her artistry but also through active contributions to the community and society.
Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the transformations of 30 iconic playmates. If these stories piqued your curiosity, don't forget to like, share this video with fellow enthusiasts, and subscribe to Hollywood Inside 1960s for more compelling content. See you soon on Hollywood Inside 1960s.